Okay, can I have your address, man? Yes. Okay. All right. What's your full name? My name is Anand Nankila, sir. Anand Nankila. Okay. All right, Anand. Can you just give a little bit of self introduction? Yes, sir. I am my name is Anand. I am K. Anand Dishak Nagar. I completed my graduation in 2019 uh, from Anurag University, and I completed my schooling in Jagdhar uh, Sangla, which is my hometown. I completed my intermediate in. Uh, this is also in you know, my hometown with the eight point eight GP. I mean eighty eight percent. And then my hobbies are like uh, I do abstract painting. I used to do painting and send to my friends and family members. That's okay. Good, good. So nice uh, hobby you have. Very nice. Thank you. All right. So this position is for Java developer position. So like. Uh, why you selected Java as a uh, Yeah, sir. As we know about the uh, environment, like uh, IT environment, there are a lot of opportunities in Java. Uh, based on that, I learned Java from uh, tech, uh, techno Java technology from the institutes, and I've been practicing it so many days. And I thought this is a good platform to explore myself and contribute to the my position and I build, build my qualities and skills as well. Okay, all right, okay, good. So that's right. So Java has got many of things that is correct. Okay, all right. So, how comfortable are you in Java? How much do you want to be rating? Uh, about eight. Okay, all right, good. So, in Java, what are the things that you know? Like Java, in Java, I, I know the concepts of like, you know. Java introducing the hook, hooks concepts like as you know, hooks concepts and exceptions handling like uh, core Java and I'm not being into advanced but I know that I know very well about core Java. No problem. If you are good in core Java, no problem. So we'll provide training for you for on advanced Java. Okay, good. <coughs> okay, All right. So in core Java, do you know exception handling? Yes, sir. Right. But uh, why we use exception handling? What is the use of that? Actually, exception handling is nothing but a runtime error. Actually, we get a lot of exceptions while running the program. So, like, uh, if actually we we care of uh, we take care of the compile errors, uh, compilation errors, coding errors. But exception handling is nothing but which occurs in the runtime. Mm -hmm. That is the main problem for us. Mm -hmm. So to handle that one, we use exception handling. All right, very good. Okay. So what are the ways? How we can achieve this exception handling? Like uh, exception handling is a mechanism, as I told. So we have some keyword, keywords to handle the exceptions. Like uh, if you uh, if you know that if the exception is occurred here, we use that code into the try lab. And like uh, we have try catch and throw the keywords to handle exception. If you uh, if you want to you know where the exception is occurred, we use that code into type lab. And with the catch, you can handle the exception in try catch lab. Catch block. Catch block. Yes. Okay. So in a program, suppose um, there is one try. So how many catch blocks we can put? Only one. No, no. We use multiple catches as well. Like, uh, if you know, there is a one catch uh, try that. We use multiple catches. Like, uh, exception is a main class. For exception, we have a lot of uh, subclasses like uh, array index out, out of the one exception. If you don't know the correct exception by the name, so you can try multiple. So which in try that which are you don't you don't have aware of the which exception is occurred. So you can put in multiple try blocks that can catch the mm -hmm. uh, exception. Like uh, with uh, detect the exception in catch block that will catch for that one. That catch will execute. Yes, that is what you said. Okay, yes. good, good. How many types of exceptions are there? Like we have checked exceptions and unchecked unchecked exceptions. Okay. Like checked exceptions. Checked exceptions. We have. Uh, IOE exception, SQL, SQL uh, exceptions, mm -hmm. and like that. And in actual exceptions, we have like uh, automatic exception, array index not, uh, array index out of the one exception, and uh, 
uh, null pointer exceptions like that we have in functional exception. Class not found exception. Class not found exception is also a uh, unchecked exception uh, we have in the unchecked class. Okay. But why we call them as checked exception? What is the meaning of it? Checked exceptions like uh, we will uh, that we check at the time of execution. Unchecked means which will check at the run, at the time of runtime. Runtime. So can we tell something like this? Check exceptions are those exceptions which are checked by compiler. At compiler. Yes. So unchecked exceptions are those which are not checked by compiler. Okay. Yes. So which is checked at runtime. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Fine. So what is the difference between final and finally? Yeah. Final is a keyword which is actually a non-access modifier. Like we have final variables, final methods, final class, which have the some uh, a specified meaning for that. Like uh, the final class not be extended, the final method can't be inherited, uh, the final variable can't be changed. Like that we have in final. Finally, we use it for the exceptions. Like the exception is occurred or not, the final block is executed. Like uh, we have some necessary code to execute if the exception is occurred or not. For that code we put in finally code. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So can you just write one program for uh, finally? Just for finally. Finally is a key Okay. Exception in try block or not, the final will execute. Okay. The, the necessary code will be written, written in the final block, like the database opening, closing. We need to close the uh, programs, right? So we need to write those code in the final block. That is important for us. Okay. Suppose if there is no exception, so try block will not execute. So suppose if there is an exception, if there is no exception, so catch block will not execute, right? Only try block will execute. Okay. So at that time, finally will execute or not? Finally will execute. Finally always executes. Always executes. If exception comes or if it doesn't come. Okay, good, good. So then what is the difference between throw and throws? Like uh, throw we use it for the uh, uh, un un unchecked exceptions. Throws we use for the Checked exceptions. Checked exceptions, throws. Yes. Okay. So throw unchecked. So fine. So can we create our own exceptions? Is it possible? Yes. We we call it as a user defined exceptions. Okay. For using throws keyword, we create our own exception. My exception. Okay. Like that. We create the exception details here. Yeah. Okay. So I think it is throw or throws? Throws. Are you sure? Throws is for checked exception, right? I think throw, no? Yeah, it's actually throw. Throws is for checked exception. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yes. 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 Okay. So when null pointer exception will come? Uh, null pointer exception is like uh, one of the exception. If you, for example, we use a one string variable is a null. If you try to find out the string length, like uh, a dot length, which will give the exception. Like mm -hmm. we didn't give the value to the string. Mm -hmm. How can it find the then very good. So that's why we get the null pointer exception here. Okay. okay. So can you give examples for checked exceptions? 
check exceptions like uh, SQL exceptions we will discuss in database, mm -hmm. IO exceptions we discuss in scripts, mm -hmm. and then we have the check exceptions. Okay. Okay. Right. Good. Okay. So at the time of writing catch, so here we use one class by name exception. So this exception class, how many exceptions can it handle? Like we have exception is the main class, which inherits all the subclasses of the exception. Okay. If you don't aware of the subclasses of exceptions, mm -hmm. we just put the exception here, main class. Mm -hmm. That will automatically catch the mm -hmm. uh, the relevant mm -hmm. uh, exception here. So and it will handle all the exceptions. All exceptions. All right. Why? Because it is a main class. main parent class. Parent class. All right, good. And in catch block, so after writing the exception name, we write some reference yeah. here. So, yes. then what is the use of that? Uh, like it's it's like a, it gives the exception details. Like uh, if you if you write the uh, mi zero, mm -hmm. like we can't divide uh, any value with zero. This is the automatic exception. So, if you don't aware of this, then we can print this E that will tell the exception details okay. which type of exception it is, what is, why, why don't you use it. Okay. Alright, good. Alright, so very nice. Okay. <clears throat> so, this kind of pop interviews we generally do it as a good solution. So, to increase the um, like uh, for student, so in which area he has to improve. Okay, so we give feedback also. So generally, we give feedback on three criteria. Okay, so first on theory part, so uh, how is answering the question, definitions, all those things. Then coding part, and also communication with how confidence you are answering. Okay, so coding part you are doing very well. Good, keep it up. Okay. So theory part also whatever the questions are asked, so you are telling almost correctly. Okay, but still communication little bit we can still improve. Okay, you are doing well, so whatever you are explaining, so I am able to understand. But still little bit more clarity it should be there. Okay, so that is how the mock interviews we conduct here at SP Global Solution. So you attend this kind of four mock interviews and this area little bit you can improve. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Sir.